Good day and welcome to another episode of All About uh, Life in Thailand, where I, Ray, talk about stuff that most people don't even consider. You know, real life, not the tourist fantasy. Today I want to talk about driving in Thailand. But first, a word about Thailand's new Electronic Travel Authorization, or ETA. A lot of folks are saying they cannot find any information about it. They won't. It's not in force yet. But I'll give you the basics. The Electronic Travel Authorization, or the ETA, is a new requirement for travelers from 93 countries who are eligible for visa exemption when entering Thailand. This initiative is part of Thailand's efforts to enhance security and streamline entry processes for tourists and business travelers. So here's the highlights or the main points. The ETA is expected to enter a pilot phase by December 2024, with full deployment anticipated by June 2025. That, that, that's off in the future, right? So don't worry about it now. Travelers must apply for the ETA through the electronic visa portal at www.thai e-visa, that's T-H-A-I-E-V-I-S-A dot go dot T-H before arriving in Thailand. The application will be required for each entry into the country. The ETA is expected to be free of charge, similar to other electronic travel authorization systems in various countries. All visa-exempt travelers must hold an approved ETA before arriving by air, sea, or land. The ETA will allow holders to use automated immigration gates, simplifying the entry process. Certain individuals, such as holders of diplomatic and official passports, will be exempt from the ETA requirement. Okay, that's all I know, so let's move on to the topic of the day. Driving in Thailand is an experience that blends cultural nuances, unique travel, traffic practices, and a distinct set of rules that may differ from what many are accustomed to. In this video, we'll explore the essential aspects of driving and road etiquette in Thailand, focusing on the often perilous practice of overtaking in challenging conditions, such as blind hills and bends. Additionally, we'll delve into the behaviors of motorbike riders who often seem to disregard conventional road etiquette. In Thailand, vehicles drive on the left side of the road. This can be a significant adjustment for visitors from countries that drive on the right. The driver's seat is on the right side of the vehicle, which can feel counterintuitive at first. New drivers should consider practicing in less congested areas before venturing into busy city traffic. Familiarizing oneself with local traffic laws is crucial. Speed limits vary and are not always posted, with urban areas typically enforcing a limit of 50 to 60 kilometers per hour, while most highways are 90 kilometers per hour. Some may allow speeds up to 120. Now, there's only one I know of that does that, and it's in Bangkok, and I think it's on the way to, uh, to Patia. It's mandatory to wear seat belts, and using mobile phones while driving is prohibited. Well, it's pretty bloody stupid for someone to drive along using a mobile. But... Additionally, Drivers must possess a valid driving license, either a Thai license or an international driving permit. Okay, diving in Thailand, oh, sorry, <laughs> driving in Thailand is often described as chaotic, yet surprisingly organized. The local driving culture emphasizes a laid back attitude encapsulated in the phrase, my pen rai, that's everywhere which translates to never mind, it's okay, or no worries, mate. This philosophy fosters a forgiving atmosphere on the roads, where minor bumps and unintentional cuts are often met with smiles rather than anger. Make lane changes slowly and deliberately. 
Tie drivers often change lanes gradually rather than use turn signals. So it's essential to be aware of your surroundings and proceed with caution. Light honks are commonly used to notify other drivers of your presence, especially around blind curves, narrow streets and intersections many of which are almost blind because we have no easement laws here in Thailand apparently and people will build a huge brick fence all the way up to the road and you cannot see what's coming down if you're at a crossroad. This practice is not only meant to express anger but rather to ensure safety. If a driver flashes their headlights at you it generally means get out of the way. I'm bigger and I'm coming through. A head nod, tilting up, means the driver is giving you the right of way. Respond with a downward nod to show appreciation. A downward head nod means the driver is taking the right of way. Parking in Thailand is generally unrestricted with cars and motorbikes parking wherever they can fit. However, it's important to watch for signs indicating no parking on certain days or, or during specific times and never park on a curb that is painted red and white. Now it's pretty difficult to determine what time of day you can and cannot park because the signs are not generally in English although there will be a number on them and you just have to guess whether that's morning or afternoon. <laughs> it's not difficult. At intersections, if two vehicles reach ahead on, the vehicle in the left lane has the right of way unless there is a designated main road. Always yield to pedestrians at crosswalks, even if they are not using designated crossing areas. Now, this is the rule that is frequently ignored. You can stand at the edge waiting to cross a road out of crosswalk for a long time if you don't get active yourself because these cars won't stop. They don't say, oh, look, there's a pedestrian there. Let's stop and let them cross the road. No, 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 not going to happen. So if you want to cross at a sidewalk, you've got to kind of step out on the road and kind of, you know, look, look at them and say, hey, isn't this a crosswalk? And um, then somebody will generally stop. So... You know, crosswalks. One of the most alarming aspects of driving in Thailand is the tendency of drivers to overtake in risky situations, such as blind hills and bends. This practice apparently can be attributed to several factors. Many Thai drivers believe their ability to judge distances and speeds accurately, leading them to take risks that might seem reckless to outsiders. Yeah, right. Others believe their sacred amulets and tattoos will protect them. In busy urban areas, the pressure to keep moving can lead drivers to make hasty decisions, including overtaking when it is not safe. While traffic laws exist, enforcement can be inconsistent or non-existent, allowing drivers to engage in dangerous behaviours without fear of repercussions. To navigate these risky overtaking situations, always assess the road ahead before attempting to overtake. Y you guys know that. If visibility is limited, it's often better to wait for a safer opportunity. Indicating your intention to overtake can help alert other drivers to your actions although many Thai drivers may not use signals themselves. Regularly check your mirrors and blind spots, especially for motorbikes, which can easily slip into gaps in traffic, and they could be coming from your left side or your right side. They don't care. As long as they see a gap they can sneak through, they will. So check both of your mirrors before you change lanes. God, I tell you, I, that's got me in trouble a few times. Motorbikes are a common sight on Thai roads, accounting for a significant portion of traffic. They're favoured for their manoeuvrability and fuel efficiency, especially in congested urban areas. However, the behaviour of motorbike riders 
often raises concerns regarding ra ra road etiquette. Motorbike riders in Thailand frequently exhibit a lack of adherence to conventional road rules. Riders often weave between lanes, taking advantage of small gaps in traffic. While this is common in many countries, the speed and unpredictability with which Thai riders do this can be alarming. It's not uncommon for, for, for motorbike riders to disregard traffic signals, especially at intersections making them unpredictable and increasing the, the, the risk of accidents. To safely share the road with motorbike riders, always be on the lookout for motorbikes, especially when changing lanes or making turns. Allow extra space when driving near motorbikes, as they can maneuver quickly and may suddenly change lanes. Be prepared for motorbike riders to make unexpected moves, such as cutting in front of vehicles or stopping suddenly. One of the most distinctive features of traffic lights in Thailand is the sight of motorbikes gathering at the front of the line. As traffic comes to a halt, motorbike riders skillfully maneuver through lanes, squeezing between cars and trucks to position themselves right at the front. This practice is not just a matter of convenience. It reflects a broader, a broader cultural acceptance of motorbikes as a primary mode of transportation in congested urban areas. Interestingly, many motorbike riders have a, have a habit of leaving just before the traffic light turns green. This behavior can be attributed to several factors. Motorbikes can accelerate faster than cars, allowing riders to take advantage of the brief moment before the light changes. This gives them a head start, enabling them to weave through traffic more effectively. Experienced riders often gauge the timing of the lights and can predict when they will change. This anticipation allows them to be ready to move as soon as the light turns green, often before other vehicles have even begun to move. The chaotic nature of the Thai traffic means that many riders feel the need to assert their presence on the road. By leaving quickly, they can avoid being trapped behind slower moving vehicles. When it comes to making right turns at traffic lights, the behavior of oncoming vehicles contrasts sharply with that of motorbike riders. Typically, when a traffic light turns green, most car and truck drivers will wait, wait patiently for vehicles turning right to complete their maneuver. This courteous behavior reflects a level of respect for the rules of the road and the safety of all road users. However, motorbike riders do not adhere to this same etiquette. Many will attempt to pass on the ride or squeeze through gaps regardless of whether a car is turning. This can create dangerous situations as a motorbike may not be visible to the turning driver, leading to potential collisions. The difference in behavior can be attributed to several factors. Motorbike riders often perceive themselves as more agile and capable of navigating through tight spaces, leading them to take risks that car drivers might avoid. The driving culture in Thailand tends to prioritize speed and efficiency, which can lead to a disregard for traditional road etiquette, particularly among motorbike riders. In congested areas, the pressure, of keeping, uh, to, the pressure to keep moving can lead riders to make hasty decisions, including overtaking or squeezing through gaps without waiting for turning vehicles. The behavior of motorbike riders at traffic lights in Thailand highlights the complexities of the country's driving culture. While their ability to maneuver to the front of the line and anticipate green lights showcases their skill and familiarity with the roads, it also raises safety concerns for all road users. So, driving in Thailand presents a unique set of challenges and experiences that can be both exhilarating and daunting. Understanding the local driving culture, and that'll take time, not, not weeks, months, particularly the risks associated with overtaking on blind hills and bends is essential for ensuring your safety on the roads. Additionally, 
being aware of the behaviors of motorbike riders can help one navigate the often unpredictable nature of Thai traffic. By adopting a cautious and respectful approach to driving, visitors can enjoy the freedom of exploring Thailand's beautiful landscapes while minimizing the risks associated with its distinctive driving environment. Whether you're navigating the bustling streets of Bangkok or the serene roads of the countryside, a mindful approach to driving will, will enhance your experience in the land of smiles. Okay, Cobbles, that's it from me. If you found this information of interest, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for staying to the end, and until next time, share, take care, and uru.